so hi guys um this is asado's kitchen um today we'll be making dry okra soup and we have got three large onions one kg of lamb lamb curry with bones i've got coriander powder cumin powder vegetable stock powder salt oil and black pepper so i'll begin with frying my onions in the meat now. So I put in vegetable stock powder and coriander powder. And I'll add a little bit of black pepper. And then add in water. So I'll put in boiling water to quicken the process. this for about 30 minutes and then I'll come back and check on that. So I'll just check that now. It's almost ready. So I'll let it go for a little bit longer and then I'll go in the right of course. garlic paste um, so I'll just put a little bit then I've also got some tomato paste that I will put in on how to do this one and I'll make another tutorial with the dry okra without tomato paste. So I'll let that go for a little bit longer. I'll let it go for a few minutes because with the tomato paste if it doesn't go for long it takes a bit sour so i'll just let it go for a little bit longer now
it's time now to put in the dry okra. Um, so this is what we use to mix the dry okra. But then, because this is not available for everybody, I'll show you an easier way of how to do this. So usually we would just... So usually we would... We would put in the dry okra slowly and we would just use that to mix that and then mix the dry okra into the stew but what I will do is I will show you an easier way so I'll put this away and I'll show you what I usually do so I'll put in the cumin powder now before I put in the dry okra So that it mixes evenly um, through it and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with my dry okra. So if you don't have that and you want to do dry okra, this is one thing you can do. So I've got my dry okra there and I've got my hand blender. So I put a little bit of water in a container so you can use a jug or a lunch box and then I just put in as much okra that's, that I want to use so I'll put because it's got tomato paste in it I'm making it into a thick stew so I'll use three teaspoons of okra and then I'll just take my hand blender and put that in <laughs> comes really handy when you're making a thick okra stew because then you don't have lumps of okra in your stew. The blender beats through it really well so you've got that now and then you just pour that into the stew. It's thick because I wanted it thick because I like it thick I will not put in too much water So with the dry okra powder, you you can find this at a South Sudanese store. So we usually import it from Africa. We get family to send it over, but you can buy it at a South Sudanese grocery store. Um, if you cannot find this, you can actually make it yourself. It's just that it takes a lot of time to make. You can buy your own fresh okra, cut it up. Um, if your weather is really good, um, nice and sunny, you can dry the okra outside. And then once it's dry, you can use a spice or a coffee grinder to grind it up. And it gives you, so it gives you that powder. So it's not hard to make. It just takes a lot of time and effort. And because uh, time is, limited at the moment it's really hard to do that so you can actually um, get it from a south sudanese grocery store so i'll put in a little bit of salt um, i 
will not put in too much salt. I had put in two tablespoons of vegetable stock powder and that is enough for now. At this stage when it boils, it's ready to take out. Um, um, this is the dry okra soup cooked in tomato paste. Um, I've served that with injera, which is the Ethiopian flat bread. I got that from our local Ethiopian grocery store. So if you've got an Ethiopian grocery store close to you, then you can serve it, uh, you can buy that from there. Or alternatively, if you can't find this, like this goes really well with the, um, either bread or you could eat it with ugali.